Not everybody was a fan of Hitron when it started. There was a lot of apprehension. We're, we're, we're a search and rescue organization. What, what are we doing hanging weapons off our, our helicopters? What are we doing shooting, uh, disabling vessels with precision marksmen? Captain Richard Bates, U.S. Coast Guard. Prior to Hitron, uh, I started through OCS. Then I was stationed at Air Station Houston, then Polar Operations, and that's when I volunteered to get to Hitron. As you know, the proof of concept started in 98-99. Uh, they finished it, and then they decided they were gonna stand up a unit, they needed volunteers. So they were looking, I think, build it up to about 40 people. And I was fortunate enough to be one of those 40. If, if you actually think about Hit Run, you can think of it in, in generations. The first generation would be the first 10 who did a proof of concept. It wasn't a unit, it was a proof of concept. And those folks volunteered and proved that this concept of forcefully stopping undocumented, go fast drug runners, basically, uh, that it would work. Prior to them proving this, we could only stop about 10% of all, all vessels. The first few that came to Hitron, we, we received training in the Augusta 109. If you remember, the proof concept, they had a different helicopter. So when we stood up Hitron, the aircraft that was selected was the Augusta 109. So you're, you're, you're starting from scratch as far as adapting your tactics, techniques, and procedures, your TTP, from what they developed with the other helicopter to ensure that it would work with, with the Augusta. So as part of the training prior to getting the hit run, we actually went to Italy and received aircraft transition training into the Augusta 109. So at that time, you had to have two helicopters, two cutters, two OTHs. When we switched from dual helicopter tactics to single helicopter tactics, well, that was all developed at HITROM. I was involved with standing up the safety department as well as the transition from dual helicopter to single helicopter. Every policy that we had had to be redone to account for the changes in our TTP. There is no better partnership in the Coast Guard than the, the Cutter Hilo partnership. Having a helicopter on board a Coast Guard cutter just expands the, the, the range of influence for that cutter. And adding an AUF element to it, the fact that now they can actually stop the vessel prior to hit Ron standing up, you can watch the vessel, you can tape the vessel, you can see the vessel, maybe you can get somebody to intercept it, but we were only intercepting 10%. Now we have a capability where we actually could stop it.